Hi everyone, welcome back to the colorectal surgeon channel. I am Dr. Samrat Zankar, a board certified colorectal surgeon and a fistula expert. Uh, if you are new here, just subscribe our channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated about our latest video on colorectal health and awareness. You have seen that thumbnail and you are interested to know about diet after fistula in surgery. If you or your loved one has undergone a, or planning to undergo fistula surgery, diet plays crucial role in proper recovery and reducing complication. So let's dive deep into it. Diet after fistula surgery is very important to have proper stool a, during the course of recovery with a, a wound in the anal region. Let it be whatever kind of surgery had been done in the fistula, there will be a wound, might be smaller or might be larger, wound at the anal region which is most sensitive area and by default in day or today we have to go daily for the motion, we have to excrete the waste. With that stool passing and the process of defecation, your wound is going to have wear and tear and along with that exposure of the stool and bacteria, you need to heal well. So in this part, the diet plays very crucial role. So we will discuss about the tips and tricks, uh, what should be taken as a diet, what are the important factors we need to consider, what should be avoided and at the end, what should be the approach. So before going into the discussion about the diet, let's quickly recap about the fistula and anu. Friends, we all know fistula is nothing but an abnormal tunneled communication from inside the anal canal into the mucosa to outside the skin most of the time. If it has been diagnosed with a fistula, then mostly surgery is the only treatment. The surgery can be a spinter savings procedure or spinter cutting procedure. Whatever may be the surgery, perianally we will going to have the wound. To healing that wound, we need to change our diet rather than routine eating. We need to a uh, goal specific change our diet. That's what we will discuss in this video. Principle of diet after fistula surgery has mainly three aims. First is to prevent the constipation. Second is promote the healing, boost your immunity so that recovery will be quicker and faster. Let's deep dive into each key principles with what kind of food we can supplement for that purpose. So foremost and most important factor is prevention of constipation. If you constipated, if you have hard stool, if you strain after the fistula surgery, it's more likely that the wound will have more pain, you will suffer more with a problem such as bleeding and also you will suffer with other kind of infection and other issue. So, avoiding constipation is first and foremost target in post-operative recovery of fistula surgery. To avoid the constipation, we need to supplement with good amount of fiber. The fiber which will help to make your smooth, soft and bulky let straining so that your healing will be better, complication will be least likely. If we want to supplement more fiber, we need to have whole grains such as whole wheat breads, oatmeals, you can have fruits like apple, pears, uh, carrot, you can have leafy green vegetables, spinach, these will be packed with fiber. These fiber help to form stool soft and bulky. At the same time, don't forget to add more amount of water because the fiber itself will not cause your smooth and soft bulky stool fiber need adequate amount or more amount of water. If you supplement water, the fiber holds the water and when waste has to excrete, the waste or stool will become soft, soft and bulky so that straining will be less, smooth passage will happen and less likely to have more pain or more bleeding. So don't forget at this point to take medication prescribed by your doctor. Usually what we prefer early phase of recovery, initial three to four days, we give osmotic laxative. So that stool will be liquid or more of semi-liquid. And later phase, we want natural relaxation of your anal canal so that it will help 
further healing in better way in that phase rather than osmotic laxative we prefer to add into isabgul fibers so that your stool will be soft and bulky natural relaxation of anus can happen and healing will be better food that heals the food which will promote the healing uh, in your recovery period body tries to heal and recover faster and better for that we need to supplement some food which will sustain your recovery process in better way for faster healing or promotion of healing we need protein lean protein such as fish chicken eggs which will has role but be cautious that too much of adding protein forms in the type of chicken or something will also create the constipation and dehydration you can take one or two pieces of chicken or chicken soup uh, which will definitely help in the healing uh, vitamin c vitamin c is very important in your recovery because vitamin c has natural healing tendency we can get vitamin c from citrus fruits lemon oranges kiwis and also zinc is the most important component in healing we can get from the nuts whole grains a good amount of zinc you can also discuss with your surgeon adding the supplement in your diet or you can take in your regular during healing period that will also help in better healing and it will promote the healing process too food that boost your immunity our body immunity system is working 24 by 7 to fight against the outsider and we boost uh, keep our immunity in strong way so that we will not have super added infections so our food aim also should add a benefit for improving our immunity boost our immunity the immunity can be boosted by taking natural antioxidant and vitamins and probiotics vitamin a and e are very important in our recovery period the dark leafy greens such as spinach and healthy fats such as avocado and nuts are very good in boosting our immunity the probiotic content which comes from curds uh, yogurt and uh, buttermilk those all will add more amount of healthy bacteria so that it is also better to boost our immunity what to eat is very important at the same time what should not eat is also most important to know so that your post operative care is better so it is better to avoid the food such as more of processed foods or uh, having spices and the food which will irritate our the gut or we are having more of maida product bakery product which will cause more on constipation should be avoided absolutely we should avoid alcohol coffee smoking in post operative period at least for four to six weeks usually this will delay the healing process and increase our suffering it's better to avoid it it's important to note that the recovery period varies the person to person it based on many of the factor but most important is type of surgery has been performed and complexity of the fistula if you are anything unsure about a diet or you are experiencing any digestive issue more constipation in post-op period it's better rather than hesitating discuss with your surgeon and dietitian get proper dietary guidance and also the laxative to make you comfortable recovery and that's all for today's video diet after fish line in anno surgery remember in post operative most important to have balance high fiber diet and adequate water intake to have better healing and proper recovery if you found this video helpful uh, press that thumbs up and subscribe our channel the colorectal surgeon for, for more colorectal health and wellness uh, uh, video updates uh, take care bye bye have faster and uh, better healing and we will meet soon with next video thank you